we just saw the next Ford F-150 out testing. This is the 2021 model and it was barely camouflaged. Hi, my name is Eric. I make videos on future cars and trucks. If that's interesting to you, go ahead and consider subscribing. Also in this video, we're gonna bring you up to date on the latest Bronco news. Now this is a bit of a surprise to see the F-150 out so soon, basically in no camouflage. To me, this looks just like a wrap. There appears to be no body cladding whatsoever on this test vehicle. The story was picked up by Motor One and they also confirm, according to their source, that there is no body cladding on this vehicle at all. So this appears to be what is possibly very close to the production version of the brand new F-150 that we're gonna see starting next year. Now considering this is probably what is very close to the final version, a little bit later in this video, I put together some colors. I did a little Photoshop work so I can show you what the various colors might look like. Styling wise, this is not a radical or a big departure from the current F-150. This appears to be sort of a nice little evolution. It looks a little bit more modern in my mind. Let's put it up side by side with the current F-150. This is the XL. LT version. Now the biggest difference really here is the grille. You can see on the current one, it has these two wide pieces that go across the center of the grille. And in the 2021 model, it's much thinner and it's uh, the grill shape is a little bit different too. And actually the grill itself seems to be a little bit smaller. I'm definitely seeing a lot of influence from the Ford Ranger. Up on screen right now is the Lariat edition. And again, if you look at the grill, you can look at the shape of the grill. Uh, on the current F-150, it's a little bit more vertical, but on the, uh, the Lariat, the Ranger, you can see the edges of the grill are a little bit, um, I guess, rounder. They come sort of in a little bit of a trapezoidal shape and I can sort of see that in the new F-150. So they're definitely pulling a little bit of influence from that. Now looking at the headlights, the headlights are definitely different too. On the current F-150, they are sort of more of a wraparound type style. They go a little bit into the fenders and there's two, uh, there's two distinct elements that we can see in the top and the bottom. I'm seeing something a little bit similar to the, uh, the GMC Sierra with the headlights. I'm seeing Ford picking up a little bit on that. The other thing that I see here is what I believe to be on the outside of the headlights is this what looks like a LED strip, actually perhaps two LED strips, one going across the top of the headlight and one going down the side of the headlight too. In this photo here, they appear to be illuminated, although it's a little bit difficult to say because these are spy photos. And looking at the current F-150, you can see the grill sort of goes into the headlights and forms a bit of a, a C shape on the 2021 model. The headlights appear to be a little bit more separated from the grill. Also in the bumper, it looks like we have some, potentially some LED strips as well with these lower fog light. Now my guess is that we're seeing a more upscale version of this test uh, version of the truck. I'm not gonna call it a mule. It actually looks like something pretty close to production because we've got all these LED strips Again, just a bit of a guess right now. The mirrors appear to be mounted in the same position as the uh, the current F-150. They seem to be mounted perhaps a little bit lower and the shape is a little bit more square too. In the lower part of the bumper, you see there is a cutout in the black plastic area. I'm not exactly too sure what's going on there. Let me know down below what your thoughts are on that piece. So what does all this mean? Because it is surprising to see this quite so early in the year. After all, it's just the beginning of 2020. This is coming out at some point as a 2021 model. Of course, this is gonna be an aluminum body like the complete revision that debuted in 2014. We think according to the sources that I can find that the truck is gonna be a little bit bigger than the current one. So this is not gonna be a brand new truck on a new chassis. This is an evolution of the current version of the F-150. According to the sources that I can find, the future, the next version of the F-150 is gonna debut sometime around 2026. That'll be a brand new chassis. Again, as I said earlier, I don't think we're seeing any camo on this vehicle. So I think what we might be seeing here is a pilot production version. So that means they might be ramping up, testing out some of the manufacturing and sort of getting ready to move the truck into full-on manufacturing, probably at some point later this year, perhaps in the fall. And of course, you know, once we start to see these test vehicles on the road, that means we're likely to see some sort of debut at perhaps an auto show. So what do we have coming up? So we do have the Ford Bronco launch, as you know, and 
My best understanding of that is that we're gonna see two introductions of that because there is a uh, the big Bronco, the daddy Bronco, and then there is the baby Bronco called the Bronco Sport. So we're gonna see two separate introductions of that. One of them is going to be in March, and one of them is probably gonna be around April at the New York Auto Show. So the March one would be a standalone debut. So we got the F-150, and Ford isn't gonna to wanna to have these launches competing with each other. So it's possible that if the uh, Bronco is debuting at the New York Auto Show or around there. My guess is that the F-150 might have a debut at the International Auto Show, which is gonna be in June in Detroit. Now, of course, they can always do a standalone event like they did with the Mustang Mach-E, and they are gonna do with the upcoming Bronco in March. According to the sources that I can find, they're talking about starting production at some point in August. So we're definitely going to see a debut before that. Now looking at the taillights, I see actually some pretty significant differences in the taillights between the current version and the 2021 model. This is the current Raptor version. And so you can see the taillight has a little bit of a curve to it. And it's basically two elements. You've got the, the part that illuminates and you've got the reflector. And then you have an LED piece. In the upcoming version, they've changed it quite a bit, so it's a much more trapezoidal shape. It doesn't have the same curve to it, and you've got what appears to be perhaps an LED element on the outside. That might be the actual taillight itself, and then you've got what appears to be a reflector in the center. Could be reversed. It's a little bit difficult to say from this photo, but there's definitely a pretty significant difference in the taillights in this vehicle. There was an earlier rumor that this new 2021 model might have an independent rear axle, but looking at these photos, it definitely looks to me that this is a solid rear axle. Can't tell for sure. Of course, nothing is formal or official yet from Ford, but looking at these photos, if this is in fact an early sort of production version, I think we're definitely sticking with a solid rear axle. There's a lot of perfectly good reasons for sticking with a solid rear axle. One of them, of course, is durability and reliability. You've just got less parts to deal with. And of course, you know, one of the downsides perhaps is ride quality, but, but of course the F-150 is intended as a workhorse vehicle. People are gonna be using it for all types of different applications, including, you know, farming, off-roading, and hauling stuff around. So the ride quality is perhaps not the most important thing, really durability and clearance is gonna be more important. So I think it's a good thing that they're gonna stick with the solid rear axle in this case. So I've got this camouflaged F-150 and I have tried to apply some of the current Ford colors to this vehicle to give you an idea of what it might actually look like. Now, I'm not a 3D renderer. That is not my specialty. I'm just working in Photoshop. I'm sort of a Photoshop sort of okay kind of guy. I do all my own thumbnails actually. So this is what it looks like in black. And you can see some of the camo uh, coming through here. Sorry, that's sort of the best I can do on short order. If there is an artist who would like to work with me and you're out there to do some color work on some future camos, just let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. Now here's a blue. I tried to sort of pull off the colors from lightning blue. I don't know how well this renders exactly here. It's a little bit popping, uh, but I think it actually looks pretty cool. Here is a gray color. Ford has a couple of different gray colors. I thought I'd show you just one of them. Actually two of them. Here's a lighter gray color. Sorry about that, I lied. Here's something called Magna Red. It doesn't exactly have the shininess that I would like it to. Again, these are just quick work in Photoshop from me. Here's something called Rapid Red. That is really popping here. Sorry about the uh, the color palette popping up on the screen there, but you can see those are the Ford colors that I tried to choose from. Here is white. I think that looks pretty good. I think a lot of people are gonna order it in white. And then I did something a little bit speculative. I did this yellow. Let me know what you think of it. Actually, I don't think it looks very good. What about the powertrain for the next F-150? So right now we have six different powertrain and we have a 10 speed automatic transmission and a six speed automatic transmission. I'm expecting that we're gonna see the 10 speed repeating. It appears to be a pretty good transmission. Ford has been using it for quite a while now. They co-developed it with GM, but they sort of went off in their different directions with that very solid transmission. So right now we have a 3.5 liter EcoBoost. We have a three liter power stroke turbo diesel, a three and a half liter high output EcoBoost that is used in the Raptor. We've got a 2.7 turbocharged EcoBoost and a five liter a V8 and a 3.3 liter V6. I don't know if we're gonna keep all of these powertrain options. It's, it's entirely possible. This is the number one selling vehicle in North America, as I understand it right now. 
um, and certainly probably one of the top vehicles in the world. So it is very possible they're gonna keep all these powertrain options. What we are expecting to see at some point probably not right away at launch, is we are expecting to see some type of hybrid version. There's not a lot of information on that, what we can expect, but obviously we're dealing with a battery and some electric motors, and that could give us quite a bit more torque. It depends if they decide to go with a sort of a mild hybrid, which would be more on the performance end and the torque end, or if they give us a more mileage, gas mileage oriented hybrid. My guess is they're gonna do more of a mild hybrid, which isn't so much about uh, fuel economy and getting more out of your tank, but more geared towards utility and increasing the torque. One other powertrain that is definitely coming, although we don't know exactly when, is a full electric F-150. Ford released this video in 2019. They've got this F-150, which is a fully electric vehicle pulling 1 million pounds of cargo trains, freight trains, and then they load up 42 F-150s onto the train so it has a little bit more weight and they pull that as well. Pretty impressive demonstration. Yeah, this is obviously a marketing stunt, but Ford and of course General Motors too needs to respond to Tesla who is coming out with a Cybertruck. Clearly the Cybertruck is a bit of a different market. You've got different enthusiasts around Ford and Tesla, uh, but this is the way the market is moving, so we should expect to see this full electric version. I'm not exactly sure, but my guess is probably in maybe late 2021, Ford has teamed up with Rivian. They have a significant investment with Rivian, in Rivian, excuse me, to develop some future vehicles. And uh, you know, Rivian's gonna have their trucks on their, selling them on their own, which of course are full electrics, but I believe that they are gonna be working with Ford as well, probably on some projects that haven't been announced yet. So maybe it's this F-150, maybe something else, but we can definitely expect to see a wide range or several electric trucks coming out in the next two years or so. Now onto the next part of this video is the updates on the Bronco, of course. As you know, I've been covering the Bronco quite extensively. I've got a couple of videos. I'm just gonna link them over here if you wanna watch those. Now there's two things that have popped up since my last video. One of them is this removable door system that uh, somebody over at Bronco 6G uncovered another patent. So what we have in essence is a removable door system, but it's a little bit different than what Jeep has, for example, where you just take off the entire door. This is in two pieces. So what we have is an outer skin and then an inner tubular portion. So you'll be able to remove the outer skin and give you a more off-road, open air kind of experience than driving around with the skin. But you'll also be able to retain some safety because you've got this tubular frame to protect you from, I guess, a rollover. This is a pretty cool idea. It's obviously got some potential for rattles. So here's my question. Are these removable door skins, are you gonna be able to store them somehow in the vehicle? We know that the Bronco has a removable roof. There's other removable components too. So the big question is, are you gonna be able to store everything in the back of your vehicle or is this more of a thing where you get ready for the weekend, you take off your door skins, you leave them in your garage, and then you go drive to your off-roading destination. At SEMA last year, Jeep had a similar type of idea with these tubular doors, pretty interesting. So we're just gonna see where Ford goes with this, but these are there's definitely some really interesting concepts that we're seeing from these various patents. We just talked about the taillights for the upcoming F-150 in these spy photos, or the spy photo that Jason Torchinsky received at Jalopnik. We can see that there is now an interesting LED shape to the taillights of the Bronco. They look quite square, it's difficult to say, how they sort of fit into the body of the vehicle. The one on the right appears to be cut off a little bit on the bottom. I'm not sure if that is part of the design or perhaps there is something in the way of the LED or maybe the LED is not functioning properly. It's difficult to say on the left-hand side, the bottom is cut off. A little bit difficult there to say, but these are pretty cool, interesting looking tail lights. Comparing these LED tail lights that we're seeing on the spy shot to this render from Mo An. Uh, it looks like his version is probably not quite right, although you can't see the bottom of the tail light in the spy shot. I think Mo An's version is a little bit off, but he's got some very, very nice renders. There's two videos up on screen right now. If you want more news about upcoming vehicles, go ahead and click one. My name is Eric. Please subscribe if you like this content. I'll see you in the next one.